Kevin, a really exciting return to home on Saturday against Leighton Orient. What are your thoughts heading into that one? Yeah, really positive. Um, we've had a really good week of training. Um, the players had some really good reflections on the, on the Carlisle game. Some, some really positive uh, messages come out from that game, but also some really um, sharp learning that uh, we need to take on really quickly. Um, but yeah, we're really positive. We're aligned in what we need to do going forward and the intensity that we need to play at and um, the quality we need to show in the, in the final third of the pitch. And um, yeah, we're really excited to be here and playing on Saturday at home in front of our own supporters and you know trying to put on a good performance. And a tough, a tough opposition in Leighton Orient. What do you think we can expect from them as a side? Yeah, they're a good team. You know, really experienced at this level um, in terms of the manager and in terms of uh, the players that they have in their squad. Um, some really good players, and um, you know, we're looking forward to the challenge. You know, they came here and I think they they won here last year, didn't they? Two 0 was it? Um, it's a bit very recently towards the end of last season. So, you know, we'd be looking for a, um, to try and rectify that result um, this season in a fresh, fresh atmosphere, fresh new era that we have here. So let's go into the first game in real positivity and um, hopefully get uh, three points. And we spoke to Toby and James sort of post Carlo and they, they were the standouts on the day and they expressed just their excitement at being able to play that, that first senior game of football. How sort of important is it to have players like that, those young and excited players on the field? Yeah, I think um, you know energy and youth is, is really helpful to any team. You know, um, but let's not forget the importance of experience within any team, um, and we have that. We have both, um, so that's really important to us. We we embrace the level of experience and the, the quality um, mentoring that the experienced players give us. Um, but then also that brings um, a, a, a different side to our, our squad where we have some youth that have not experienced the things that they have. They go into things not as apprehensive or not as much baggage that they carry, um, but also some physical things that the, some of the senior players haven't got. And that's a, it's a good blend for us to have in the squad and we're delighted to have both. And since we last spoke, we signed Mazid from Arsenal on loan. Can you just give a word on him and his signing? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Work with Mazid um, at Arsenal, so I know him very well. But listen, I've watched him grow and develop from a really young age in my time of England and scouting uh, the younger age groups and seeing his career develop and progress. And um, he's a player that's really adaptable. We have um, some some key injuries in in his position. Um, with um, with Joel Lynch um, picking up an injury that's set him back some sort of period of time and. Um, our new signing um, Brandon has been picked up an injury as well, um, which has been out for a couple of weeks. So, you know, we've we've managed to, to you know solve that 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 issue with uh, a player that can play in both positions with Mazid, and that's quite unique. Normally, a player can only play left back or left centre back, but he's able to do both in in a four three three, but also in a in a in a back three. So, whatever formation we we want to play, um, he can play both. So. That's uh, that's one of the key reasons, and plus the fact he's an outstanding character and been really well developed at Arsenal. So, yeah, we welcome him to the group, and he's had a really good week of training. And we know we played in front of a, an impressive crowd at, at Carlisle with the away fans travelling up, but it'll be a bumper crowd on on Saturday. Could be three and a half thousand in here, which is a, a great uh, crowd for us. How important is that just to have the home fans behind you? Yeah, that's what we wanted. Um, you know, the owners made a really strong step in uh, reducing the prices of the season tickets and. Um, Things like that can really help. We want to bring a lot of youth into the into the from the community into the football club um, on a long term basis. And sometimes f fans and supporters can't afford to watch watch the team play. And the, we we want to try and find solutions to help to help them, but help us as well to, to fill the stadium with noise and you know passionate supporters that can help us and push the team. We're going to need them throughout this season. And I think um, you know we're all really excited and um, we're going to need every single ounce of energy and uh, enthusiasm and noise. To, to try and um, you know push your in uh, to the to the limit. And you mentioned a very busy day today for everyone involved, but for the players too. At the end of the day, they were getting their media done, and they're all in really good spirits. It seems like there's a great atmosphere around. There is, but you know we've we've had a great atmosphere since since we come to the club. We've had an amazing pre-season, um, and you know there was elements of the game at Carlisle that that was very good. Um, but you know football. Because you've lost the game, it's your first game. It can be a bit negative, and which is understandable. But we, I think the players understand what the fantastic work they've been doing. Um, and you know, the, if your processes are right and over a course of time, um, we will get it right, and um, they will perform to the level that they know they can. And and everyone in the, the elements of pre-season that we've played against some really top teams, and they've shown a really high level. You know, we played QPR here in the Championship, um, and we were three 0 down, and we came back and drew three three. 
um, that shows the level of quality that we have in the squad and what they can do um, when they really um, um, are intense in their application. Gaffer on Saturday, thank you very much. Pleasure, thank take you. care. James, a big game on Saturday against Leighton Orient here at home. What are your thoughts heading into that one? Um, I'm really excited to get back, get out there in front of the home fans and like play our first home game of the season. And it should be exciting. Like we're all looking forward to it, and we've been training hard as well. And obviously, Carlisle was your first game at Crawley, and a successful one personally, but obviously not the result we were looking for. Obviously, like the team comes first, so the result wasn't what we was looking for. But on a personal note, like to make my first, like to make my debut and like play my first ever professional game, that was obviously a special moment as well. A special moment, especially with your, your family being in the crowd. I saw them jumping up a few times when you're making some tackles out there. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see my family there who've been supporting me ever since I was young. Like, it was like a good, good feeling. And like, I'm just grateful that I got to share that moment with them as well, sort of thing. And obviously a different atmosphere on Saturday, a home game, plenty of fans out there and hopefully maybe a new chant for you as well. <laughs> yeah, like, it'll be good to get like, the home crowds cheering for us rather than like, the away fans from um, Carlisle like, booing us and everything. So yeah, that'll be good to have our own like, crowd. And obviously it was a defeat on the opening day, a narrow one, but it'll be important now to try and get a result against, Le against Leighton Orient. Yeah, like we're all looking forward and we're all eager to like get some points on the board and just kick off our season like how we was like supposed to, like the weekend just gone, but that's gone now, but I'm looking forward to the game, yeah. And we've had a week to prepare, how's training been this week? Training's been quite intense to be fair, like we're all working hard, like ready to put a shift in and like hopefully get the right result on the weekend. And in terms of sort of you amongst the squad, you've been here a while now, I suppose. What are your relationships like with some of the players? Have you made many, many good friends, good teammates? Um, I feel like I'm like getting along with almost everyone in the squad and like the coaching staff as well. They've been really helpful towards me, and everyone that I've met like in Crawley has been like really nice and positive. So I've like settled in quite well, like very well to be fair, <laughs> better than I could have ever expected. Thank you, James. Do you want to ask a few questions? Yeah. Hi, James. Um, you've been here just over a month now. Have you got any highlights so far? Um, Obviously, my first game is like my highlight of my move so far, but just every day I'm enjoying every day coming in and working hard and just being part of a professional squad and professional environment. Yeah, obviously, you've only played one game. What's it been like transitioning into senior football this season? Um, it's like the demands are quite high, like, like they're very high like in senior football. Like They expect quite a lot, but like that's what I want to be doing like for the rest of my life. So like I'm hopefully willing to meet everything that comes my way, sort of thing. Yeah, obviously, you know, um, what's the what do you think? Would you say is the hardest part about trying to establish yourself in this club and uh, and the league at such a young age? Um, I feel like getting used to the different style of football, like because other teams like they're more direct and sort of thing. So you have to get used to like competing and battling. Not to say you, you don't battle elsewhere, but like it's a lot more physical and rough and sort of thing so like getting used to that standard and style of football I think it's going to be good for my development personally. Yeah, and taken away from Crawley, um, is there any players throughout your career you've taken inspiration from? In, in my career? Yeah like, well not well you know um, growing up uh, so is anyone that's influenced your play style? I feel like my favourite player since I've like recently has been Kevin De Bruyne I like as a midfielder I, I idolise him quite a bit because I feel like he's got everything in his game and then hopefully that's the sort of player that I can become hopefully even better because like, I think we can all agree he's quite good, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's brilliant. Perfect, thank you, James. All right, thank, thank you, you very much. Cheers.